How do you measure hope? How does it taste? How does it feel? You know, so many people give up when things get tough. We couldn't. I never give up hope. We can never stop fighting. We can never let go of hope. Underneath the bridge, underneath the woods, I mean, I lived everything, every hellhole you can talk about. Bitch, I almost froze to death. I'm still thawing out. How did you meet the bitch? You mentioned once upon a time his death. You called her out in the park and told her about her dress. Can you tell us about that? That's when you first met the bitch. About her what? About her dress, like when you first met the mayor. Oh, I told her she looked cooky. <laughs> you tell us that story. You were at the park. You were. Uh... Yeah, I said you got the same color I got on. I said, go ahead, Peachy Fire. <laughs> well, I gave another name besides that one, mm -hmm. but she was a very wonderful person. Yeah, she was very, very, very wonderful, and I appreciate and respect her to the utmost. And she's doing everything that she can for this community. And I wish you the best, my dear sister. Now I'm proud and I'm happy that I have a happy home. And I thank God that I have what I have. Because nobody knows. Nobody knows. The trouble I've seen, nobody knows but my sweet Jesus. How sweet the sound that saved the Savior like me. I still was once, and now I'm found. Glory, hallelujah. Get away from me. You shouldn't have got me started. You shouldn't have got me started. <laughs> Whether it be, you know, Salvation Army, Spanish Speaking Center, you know, donations were a really big part of our lives coming here because it was something that was free and something that we didn't have to pay for. So here at Pathways, not only was the organization helpful, but Nick was definitely like my role model slash father figure. Because even though I looked up to my older brother, he was doing his own thing, working, going to school, but Nick was literally the one that helped me get from where I was as young as like lost kid to being a successful senior student at the Diego and Donner have been and continue to be uh, role models for them, for our students here, um, for the students in their community, and, and they become they become fixtures of what I would like to see all our kids become. I mean, kids who who come from a poverty-stricken situation, we don't let that get the best of them. So now I'm currently a senior at Central Connecticut State University, finally about time. I am studying psychology and I graduate in the spring, so after that I want to go to New York and get my master's. Alright, so I'm entering my junior year at Central Connecticut State University. I'm currently studying graphic information design and I have a minor in business marketing. Building hope together.
Building Hope Together is a collaboration of many different community business owners, nonprofit organizations, and mental health awareness agencies in the city of New Britain that all have one goal in mind, and that's to eradicate homelessness in the city. It's no secret that the city of New Britain struggles with its homeless population, but by bringing all of these people together to the table, we have an opportunity to make real change. The project was started in 2007. It was formerly known as the Mayor's 10-Year Plan to End Homelessness, which was started by my father, former Mayor Timothy Stewart, and President Greg Howie, the former president of OK Industries. They got together with one goal in mind, focusing on a federal model underneath President George Bush to eradicate homelessness across the country. What we realized in the last year is that this shouldn't be just a 10-year plan, but however, a permanent plan, because homelessness isn't going anywhere, and we need to make sure that we bring all of our resources together to do everything that we can to get people off of the street and into homes, especially with the services that they need. I thank all of you for being committed to this very important cause, and I want to call on you to continue to participate, whether that's by donating to Building Hope Together. You can mail checks to the YWCA New Britain, which holds the accounts uh, in their, their fund. You can mail those checks to the YWCA. You can volunteer your time. We always are looking for help at certain shelters, whether it's the Overflow Shelter, uh, the Friendship Center, the Salvation Army. There's many different organizations that need you to help be a part of eradicating homelessness. I call on you to take action to make a difference so you can join us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> In building hope together and making a more positive future for the city of New Britain. All right. My smart, my smart. There's a bit of a wave, guys. Come by wave to us, guys. Give me a wave. Building hope together. I first met Francis. My home is a burning fire. My life's been changed for the better. My home is a burning fire.